students that go home and do this. Is it possible to use the scientific method as a tool for intentional practice? Stay tuned. I'm Sabrina Stovall. Today, I wanted to talk about implementing the scientific method as a tool for intentional practice. This works particularly well with younger students because they're already familiar with the scientific method. But just in case we need a refresher, here are the steps. Step one, identify your problem slash ask a question. Step two, form a hypothesis of how you're going to solve this problem. Step three, experimenting with your hypothesis. Step four, see if what you came up with actually worked. And then finally, you should be able to replicate what you suggested if it worked. Very, very simple. So in my case, with the example I was using, it said actually ended on a concert A flat. Quite possibly one of the most crackalicious notes on the bassoon. I often ask my students when they make a mistake to stop and think about why isn't it working and what they can change. Now it's important to note that when they go off and do their experiment at home, to only change one variable or one thing, because or else you have no way of knowing what actually worked and what didn't. So in case of an A flat, I might ask them, what did you change? Some of them will come back and say, I changed the size of my half hole. Or someone else might come back and say, I made sure that the whisper key was down. What's really great about using the scientific method as a tool is that instead of the student becoming frustrated, they can be a little bit curious about their problem and see if they can solve it on their own. This method also works very well for older students. By asking questions of the why and how something works will allow them to teach it to somebody else later on. Last, watching a student come up with their own solutions and solve their own problems it instills a tremendous amount of pride and it motivates them to keep going. The scientific method is not something that is typically taught in a music class. For those of us teaching in public school or maybe even a university level, it is kind of a bonus to cross disciplines. I hope you find this tip helpful. Let this be a tool to help you with intentional practice, which is what does pros do? If you try this with your students, let me know in the comments. If you found this tip helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button and we'll see you here next time. Bye!